Hey everyone, Greg here, and today we're going to be talking about instructions for use for your iNetra autorefractor, a smartphone powered autorefractor. The Netra autorefractor is a patient driven refraction tool that will screen patients for myopia, hyperopia, axis of astigmatism, and calculate PD. The device itself has three very simple controls a right knob, a left knob, and a confirm button. When you look inside the Netra autorefractor, you're going to see two umbrella-like shapes, one red and one green. Let me show you what I mean. When I remove the phone from the autorefractor and open up the Netra application, you'll notice right away we have two options, one for start, which will begin the test, and one for tutorial. Because the Netra autorefractor is a patient-driven device, it is very important that the patient has a working knowledge of the controls before going inside. So we recommend using the tutorial as a training aid for your patients prior to each test. So let's take the tutorial together. So this first screen of the tutorial here is just alerting us to proper grip and posture for the device, which we'll get to in just a second. But first, let's learn the controls. So I like to break the test down into three very simple steps. Find the images with the right knob, align them with the left knob, and click to confirm. Find, align, and confirm. So, it looks like this. Step one, using the right knob, we're gonna move that knob back and forth until we find those red and green umbrella-like shapes so that they appear equally visible in the center of your vision. And I'm just using the slider on the screen here as a proxy for the knobs on the device itself. So. Move that right knob back and forth until we find those red and green shapes. That looks pretty good. Step two, we'll use the left knob here to simply align the stems or the handles of the umbrellas until they overlap. Just like that, that looks pretty good. And then once they're aligned, we will click the confirm button to confirm our measurement. Each time the patient clicks, the umbrellas will rotate and then they will simply repeat the same three steps again. Find with the right, align with the left, and click to confirm. And the patients will repeat those same three steps until a blue check mark appears on the screen. Got it? So again, find with the right knob, align with the left, and click to confirm. This is just showing us how to insert the phone into the device, so we'll just click press here and load phone. And then once you see this black screen, you know you're ready to insert the phone into the autorefractor. Now to insert the phone into the autorefractor, I just insert the bottom of the phone first, and then clip in the top, making sure the iNetra logo Welcome. is face up. Now before going inside, it's a good idea to remind your patients about proper grip and posture while using the device. For the grip, we wanna make sure the thumbs are sitting on the pads next to the eye shield, pointing up, think thumbs up. And for the posture, we like to have the patient seated comfortably, and if possible, to have their elbows stable on a table or the arms of a chair. While this is not mandatory, we find that it helps to keep the patient nice and stable and comfortable while inside the device. So let's go inside and begin. So again, first thing I'm gonna do is using the right knob here, I'm gonna move it back and forth until I find those red and green umbrella shapes so that I can see equal parts red and green in the center of my vision. That looks pretty good. Once I've found them, I'll use the left knob to align the stems until they overlap. And once they are aligned, I will click the confirm button. Yeah, you got it. Please continue. And then I'll just simply repeat those same three simple steps. Find with the right, align with the left, yeah, great. and click. Please continue. The whole test will take less than three minutes. Excellent. And what you'll probably notice is that the patients will not need to adjust the right knob on every repetition. If they can still see the red and green nice and visible in the center of their vision, all they can do is just align with the left and click. Excellent. We are a quarter of the way done. Please continue. Just align and click. Great. Align and click. Good job. Align and click. Great. Please continue. Align and click. Good job. We are halfway done. Make sure the green circle is still visible and bright. Now at this point we just switched eyes, so they may need to adjust the right knob a little bit at this repetition. So we can find the red and green again. Looks good. Then align with the left. Great. And click. Align and click. Good job. Align. Click. Great job. We are three quarters. 
quarters of the way done. Almost done here. Excellent. Line. Click. We are almost done. Just a couple more. Last one. Great job. We're finished. Your measurements are ready. Please put down the Nutrigine. Great. That was easy. Now, inside when I finish, I see a nice big blue check mark so your patients know when the test is finished. To view the results, all I need to do is simply remove the phone. And we'll see our measurement listed right here on the face of the phone. Now, as soon as we get the results here, the first thing you're going to want to do is tag them with a patient ID so you know who they belong to. To do that, simply tap on the line up top where it says patient name. I'll put in my name, Greg B. Done. Uh, in the field next to it, for the age, if I input the patient's birth date, it will suggest an add power for progressives or bifocals. Um, and once I'm finished here, I can just simply click close and everything will save automatically. In addition to the results being stored here on the phone, they will also be stored on our Insight portal, which can be found at insight.inetra.com. You can log in with the same credentials that you used to log into your Inetra smartphone. Uh, to access the readings right here on the phone, you just simply use the drop down menu in the upper left hand corner. Select Reading, and then all of my readings will be displayed right here. And I can tap on any one of them at any time to go back and view. Uh, for more information about the results screen and how to uh, change the powers, um, please check out the video on the results screen. Um, and if those are the basics. If you have any questions about the Netra Autorefractor, please feel free to send us an email to training at inetra.com to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session with one of our training specialists. So, from all of us here at iNetra, thanks for watching today, and see well.